as you guys can see, the KE is actually moving twice as fast as the than the SE. So I'm going to show you guys the trick that I do to get it to print at the same speed. So the first thing you got to do is go down here to your little panel thing. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you that the KE and the SE can print at the same speed of 500 millimeters per second. Yes, I'm going to show you guys the trick to do it. So if you guys see this model, this is just like a plain wedge for an um, outdoor pot light. On the Creality Print software, it tells me that it's going to be... So guys, I'm going to show you guys how to go, how to bypass this uh, software issue. And, um, and and show you guys that the print doesn't look that bad at 500 millimeters per second. So right now I'm going to save that. So I'm going to go here, eject. And now I'm going to save the SE file and then I'll meet you guys on the printer. Okay, here's the SE and the KE. I'm about to start the printers right now. They're both on PETG from um, China. There's nothing special about this filament. It's just a cheap from Amazon. I'm going to put the link in the description if you guys are interested in buying this stuff. Um, I do not expect any of the filament to make a difference in speed, but um, yeah, I'm just showing you guys that I am not running a trick on you guys. So I'm going to start up the SE and I'm going to start the K8. All right, so look at that. The, um, the SE is ready to print. The KE is still loading. So I'm going to go to here. File. No calibration, guys. I'm just going to just print. And then I'm going to show you guys the trick that I do on the SE to get it to print the same speed as the KE. So here, the KE started. So you have to go here, USB, no calibration, and run. I expect the KE to start faster than the SE since it has a ceramic hot end and it tends to get up the temperature much faster than just a regular metal hot end. As I expected, the KE started first since it has a ceramic hot end and it gets up to temp much quicker. There goes the SE, not too far behind. In a minute, I'm going to show you guys the trick that you need to do. As you guys can see, the KE is actually moving twice as fast as the, in the SE. So I'm going to show you guys the trick that I do to get it to print at the same speed. So the first thing you got to do is go down here to your little panel thing. Press tune and then go down to speed. Click on it and increase the speed to 200. So I, I have done this many times. So I know it's completely safe to do it. So as you guys can see, it's a 200 speed, and as you guys can see, it's moving slower than the KE. So in order to get it to go at the same speed, you press it, go back, and it should pick up in the speed. <laughs> 